Hi everyone and welcome to a new video about the control system topics and we continue with the subject of stability and in particular we will continue with the root Hurwitz stability criterion. So we have the following situation. Determine if the following closed loop system is stable and we have the following open loop system in a unity gain feedback configuration as shown here. So Step one is determine the characteristic equation of this closed loop system. That is the first step to carry out the root Hurwitz stability criterion. So what you have is this, this is given with the open loop and we will now transform this to a new closed loop transfer function which is using the Mason's gain rule as shown here. What I also have done is I have now three terms here which is shown here as the poles at minus two minus three and minus five but i need a polynomial to determine the stability of the system so to move on in the next steps you have to convert the expression here with this all these parentheses in a polynomial that is mandatory now from this we can now determine our characteristic equation this is just the denominator of this expression so we have the characteristic equation which is s cubed plus 10 s squared plus 31 s plus 1030 is equal to zero. That is actually the correct equation. So next step is, step two is generate your route table. So you need to generate a table. Now, since we have a third order system, and this is all given here, the correct equation again on the right side, as you can see, we need to compare that first with the third order polynomial, which is a3 times the s to the, to the power of 3, etc. So you can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4 constants, coefficients, which are just constants. And we need to compare that to our characteristic equation. So if I now compare this, I get a3 of 1, a2 or of 10 a1 is 31 and a0 is 1030. So that's actually our, our four coefficients. Now if I move on, I need to of course generate the root table. So this is actually for the third order system. Now if I substitute the values for a3, a2, a1 and a0 in here, I get the following situation. In addition, I need to check later in the next step i need to check the condition here in the first column so i have to also calculate b2 b i mean b1 and c1 so in order to calculate b1 i just use this formula and i have all the necessary elements for b1 just substitute the values using this determinant and a minus sign in front and divide by the a2 which is 10. so i get minus 72 here already and for b2 I can use this formula and since I need a3, a2, I have all, all that and this is just zero. You substitute, substitute the values, you will get here if you do the math, just zero. We, have, we need to calculate b2 because we need that for the c1. Now if I do the math here for c1 in a similar form, you will get a2, b1, a0, b2. You just substitute it in the determinant, you put a minus sign in front and divide by the b one what you have here so you have to do it step by step so you cannot calculate c1 directly you have to do it first for b1 and then c1 then if you do math here you will get 1030 so i have actually now set up my route table and also the first column so if i now just make a simplification just collecting the values in a what well, simplified form i have now this first column we need to check this Check the first column for our stability. What we see is the following. We have a sign change here, first sign change. And we have another sign change, second sign change in here. So we have to, we go from plus 10 to minus 72 and from minus to a plus value. So it doesn't matter what actually this value is, but we see a change in the sign. So we go from plus to minus and from minus to plus. I can now conclude the following. Since we have two sign changes, thus we have two roots in the right half plane. And one, of course, root in the left half plane. Why? Because this is a third order system and I need three roots. So if I have 
two roots on the left half plane, I need a root on the left half plane. So I have two roots on the right half plane and one root at, in the left half plane, in total three roots. Now since we have at least one root in the half plane, right half plane, this closed loop close system is unstable. So this is actually our conclusion. Again, this closed loop system is unstable. Why? Because we have at least one sign change. And that means that this system is, this closed system is unstable. Okay, that is actually for this example. We continue again with other examples and other cases for our root Herbert's stability criterion. So stay tuned and see you next time.